In today's video, I am participating in a challenge uh, hosted by Rachel from The Sweet and Simple Home. I will have her channel and the playlist linked in the description box below. This is the one box challenge where we are challenged to go through our home and fill a box or a bag or something with items to donate, to declutter, and to just remove some things from your home that you're not using. So let's just go ahead and get started. I went through my kitchen and this is just an extra glass that I just don't have room in the cupboard for it anymore. We got some new glasses and this one was just floating around in there um, taking up space. So I pulled that one out. I have this knife. It's a paring knife and it's not sharp and I don't like it. And so I'm getting rid of it. I think it was maybe meant to be for a child. I'm not really sure. I don't even remember where I got it but all I know is it doesn't cut and I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm getting rid of that. And then I went through my utensil thing in my kitchen by my stove and I have so many wooden spoons and spatulas and stuff. So I just picked out two wooden spoons that um, I don't hardly ever use and so it's time to get rid of them. So I'm getting rid of these two wooden spoons. I've also had this faith sign in my kitchen for a really long time and when I did some reorganizing in there um, I just didn't have room for it on my counter anymore so I'm going to go ahead and just pass this on to someone else. We are in the process of remodeling our, our bathroom, our master bathroom, and when it's all done I'm going to redecorate it. Currently. Um, well, actually, currently it's not decorated at all, but before we started this renovation project, I had it mostly decorated in succulents. Um, I'm going to still have some succulents in there, but it's going to be not just succulents anymore. So some of the things that I had on my wall, um, I'm not going to be able to use anymore. And one of those is this picture that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. It's really pretty, but like I said, I don't have room for it on my walls anymore, and um, I don't decorate with succulents anywhere else in the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and just donate that. Um, I'm also going to be donating my this toothbrush holder. We've had it for a while. I ran it through the dishwasher, and unfortunately, some of the paint chipped off, but I figure, you know, whoever picks it up from the uh, Goodwill can repaint it however they want, but I didn't want to, you know, toothbrushes, toothbrush holders get kind of gross, <laughs> and I didn't want to donate it without running it through the dishwasher, um, but like I said, unfortunately, some of the paint chipped off. This was just a gift bag that was given to us at a uh, church event, and I don't usually keep gift bags, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass that on. These are some shoe arch support inserts that I had purchased off of Amazon and I cannot make them work in any of my shoes. When I put these in my shoes, then my shoes are too small for me, so I can't use them and I just decided to just donate them rather than go through the hassle of trying to send them back through, uh, through Amazon. So yeah, those are going to go. <clears throat> Two uh, little vases that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have since gotten some uh, milk glass vases that I like better, obviously, and so I'm gonna go ahead and donate these. They've been sitting in my craft room downstairs and just taking up space. So I'm gonna be donating those. Um, this is a little votive holder thing that I uh, got at a bridal, no, a baby shower, a baby shower a while ago, and I don't really burn votive co candles, so I'm just going to go ahead and donate this. I have got so many jar candles, it's crazy. So I went through my jar candles, and there was only one that I was wanting to part with, and it was this one, the Sparkling Citrus Zest. I had picked this up from Aldi, and it smells good in the jar, but it doesn't have a very good throw, so I'm just going to go ahead and donate that. I 
bought some of these ring sizers a while back. I don't even remember why, but I had these in my bathroom drawer forever, and I never, I tried using them, didn't work for what I needed them for, and so they've just been floating around in there, and so I'm gonna go ahead and just donate these, and maybe someone else can use them. They're to make your rings um, that are too big fit better. I've got these two pieces of home decor. I had gotten these at Dollar General, and they're cute, I like them, but um, I just don't really have a spot in my decor for them anymore. And boy, they're dusty. I have to dust them before I uh, put them in the Goodwill box, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and part with these. I was cleaning out my closet the other day, and in one of the pockets of the door hanger, I found this little calculator. And with everyone having calculators on their phones now, um, I used to carry this in my purse all the time, but I just really don't need it anymore because I have a phone that has a calculator. So I'm going to go ahead and donate this. I got these three little fruit um, that got hand motion in them. Um, I got them at the Dollar Tree last year and pretty much all the hand lotion is used up out of them and I don't really have I don't really have a use for these little containers anywhere in the house, so I'm just gonna go ahead and donate these. Somebody can use these in their home decor or to use it for DIY or whatever. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and donate these. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you today are some jewelry. I had gone through all of my necklaces when I set up my new vanity table back at the beginning of April. And um, there was just three necklaces that I felt like I could part with. Um, I don't really wear like choker necklaces or short necklaces, and they're all short, short in length. Um, it's not that I don't like them, it's just that I don't wear them. And so I thought I would pass them on to someone else. One is just this gold pearl. Well, it's not even pearl, it's gold bead necklace. One is just this little heart necklace. And then this last one is this little owl necklace. And like I said, it's not that I don't like them, it's just that I don't ever wear them. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for my Goodwill challenge, or not my Goodwill challenge, my one box challenge this month. Like I said, I've been doing a lot of decluttering and so this was all I really could come up with this time. Uh, I appreciate you watching this video. I appreciate you watching me throughout all of VEDA. And VEDA's almost over. I can't believe that tomorrow is the last day of VEDA. Thanks so much to Rachel for hosting this challenge and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.